back to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and I'm very glad you're joining us again today. Today we're going to be continuing in our dialogue with the author of this book, Dr. Amit Goswami, Quantum Activism Can Save Civilization. Amit is really very well known across the world, really, for his groundbreaking work in physics and then quantum physics. And he's led a very interesting life of making transitions from one to the other, which has really uh, been tantamount to his own inner transformation. As a result, he was uh, one of the featured physicists in the great film, What the Bleep Do We Know? And also, a film was made by a good colleague of his and filmmaker, Rhys Stewart, called The Quantum Activist, which, if you haven't seen, you should certainly, certainly do so, because it outlines many of the ideas that are embedded in this book and that we'll be speaking about today. So, we will pick up where we left off. Good. <laughs> uh, I had asked you to please define spirituality. It's a much bandied about word, and um, it means so many different things to so many different right. people. And, the, inter and, and the, the definition in the new science is quite simple. You have discovered God, so what are you going to do about it? And, and what you can do about it is, is to recognize that God's uh, most subtle domain of possibility, God is the holder of all possibilities. That's how we define it today. God is the ground of being, consciousness, God, whatever you want to call it. It's In the ground potentia. of being, potentia. Potentia holds all possibilities. Mm -hmm. There are four kinds of possibilities. Some we sense, that's the physical world. Mm -hmm. Some we feel, that's the vital world. Some we think, meaning, that's the mental world world. And then the highest world is the archetypal world, supramental, beyond the mind. And, and that's what we value. Love, beauty, justice, compassion. truth, goodness, compassion. The virtues, as the virtues, are described in the every single world value. wisdom teaching. And, and this is closest to God's heart, if you want to speak mm -hmm. in that language. Mm -hmm. And so spirituality means to delve into, explore these ideas, these archetypes, to transform our lives. And quantum physics is telling us how to do it because quantum physics has concepts which lays out that, look, this is how you access God. This is how you take charge of the causal power of God called downward causation. You choose. You become the chooser of what will happen to your life. And then all you do is to follow the creative process. We now know what the creative process is thanks to quantum physics and thanks to the empirical researcher of creativity. We know now. So there is no excuse. You, you can teach you spirituality. Could you summarize? Absolutely. That? So the three basic principles. One of the principles we already talked about in our last conversation: non-locality, mm -hmm. uh, signalless communication. Mm -hmm. A second concept is very familiar to people who have delved into creativity, and that virtually includes everybody, because in our childhood we are all creative. So, Being creative does not mean drawing a painting. No, no, by all <laughs> means. <laughs> Actually, it's a form of breathing. <laughs> it's yeah. literally creating life distinct from destroying life. Yeah, for example, a successful businessman, we have to understand, successful businessman is creative. A, a, Highly. A successful spiritual person likewise is creative yeah. because the, the past process is the creative process that contributes any kind of transformation. We become very conditioned as an adult ego, and to go to beyond that conditioning and remain retain that curiosity about the world and continue to change. You know, uh, first part of our life we change from the very childlike curiosity and creative life into an ego. That ego now has many things that the ego knows. So the ego is a necessity because the child does not have any repertoire through which to express the creative insight. So the ego now has the repertoire, exactly. like painter learned, has learned to paint. Uh -huh. The poet has learned to express himself mm, or herself language. in language and rhythm and rhyme and all that. Exactly. Scientists have learned to go into the laboratory, also how to theorize, how to do mathematics and so forth. So now to use these tools, one has to continue that creative process. This is where people become mm. limited. Making an ego is a creative process. Absolutely, <laughs> totally. it is. As, as Piaget has shown, it's a Piazza, good one. Yeah, it's a big creative process. Mm -hmm. it, it indeed happens by quantum leaps, which yeah. is the subject that 
that that makes it a, a, a quantum process. Quantum classical physics does not allow creativity fundamentally because classical physics says everything is determined. 